The Paleo Ridley Report. Yes, it wasn't really much to look at, but my how they did line up to look at it. Uh, this is what I did during Porkfest 2012. I basically just uh, took the bulletin board that already exists at Porkfest. I added a bulletin board or two of my own when that one filled up. And I just kept, uh, you know, I, I would run into all kinds of little pieces of news that I thought, well, this is great news, but by the time I put it on the Ridley Report, it's going to be out of date. So I'll just write it down on a piece of paper and put it up on the wall. And really, it was just stunning. I spent a lot of time sitting there right next to the wall writing things down, and people really would line up and watch this stuff. And I had advertisers for, uh, I had an advertiser for, I guess, some of the the uh, the ads that I there are the uh, the news bulletins that I ran. We had a quasi crime report. We had spot news. We had safety. Uh, all the kinds of things that any community would have for news. Since there's not much internet at uh, Porkfest or hasn't been traditionally, this has worked. But anyway, I'm not going to do that this year, uh, and there, unless I get advertisers. If people if you want to email me or whatnot and uh, purchase a sort of like a print ad, then I will do this again. But if no one does that, I'm not going to bother. It's not worth all the time it takes to create Ridley reports on paper. Uh, I, th I think what I'm going to do if someone, you know, if you if you do decide you want to buy an ad yourself, what, what is, how it's going to work is probably I would make available... Uh, 25 square inches of space on whatever pieces of paper I put up and you can either fill that with your own printout whatever you want or uh, whatever you want within reason uh, or if you can't make something yourself I'll probably make something for you it would help to at least have your logo and if I can't get that then my ad for you will just be a text ad but a lot of people learn about the vendors by looking at the bulletin board so it could be a fun way for you to uh, possibly increase your uh, revenue at the event while also making sure that there are some paper Ridley reports that happen. You can approach me at Porkfest and probably make this happen, although it would be more effective if you approached me before. I will try, regardless, to bring the materials with me that would be necessary to make this happen. Also, look at the video description to get a sense of... Uh, all the things that I'm trying to buy and sell while I'm at Porkfest. As you're just walking around the campground, you'll bump into my sort of automated store where I'll have small quantities of things that people can open the box and just take them out and leave money in there. There'll never be more than 60 bucks worth of stuff in the box, so it's not a huge security risk. I did have one small thing stolen last year when I was doing this. It was pretty successful last year, by the way. I think I got rid of almost everything, but the uh, the fact that I had one minor theft means I probably will, like, point us some kind of surveillance camera at the box, which will just be sitting there in front of my campsite. It'll be called something like, you know, Ridley's Automated, uh, you know, store or something like that. I'll probably have, I'm, I'm planning to have, you know, small quantities of Ike dollars, maybe wheat pennies, maybe hopefully some Gadsden flags and other stuff that I think I can sell for a good price. Uh, you'll see a, a longer list uh, uh, when you walk past. Uh, I think I may also teach a uh, Ridleyography class. Uh, it'll be probably be after Porkfest, like the day after Porkfest or the last day. But I'm considering doing something during the week. Uh, again, it depends on how much interest I get. So just email me if any of this sort of stuff interests you. I guess contact me through YouTube or Day Really on Facebook.